Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to do my second graphic uh, tutorial. Today we're, we're going to work with uh, in a similar process to the YYCHR uh, tutorial. We're going to work with Peer Sprite Viewer here that allows to uh, decompress and recompress graphics. So uh, first thing to check is what we're going to edit. Uh, so we go see if we go on the ROM map, we're going to edit the battle statue graphics, uh, especially uh, more precisely the uh, the shield uh, graphic uh, here uh, in that offset range we got uh, the miss and the miss text we got the cape we got the golem block we got the dog block the sword block the cape uh, mist or the cape uh, I, don't I don't know exactly the word in English but the cape animation and we got the digits as well and some statue uh, stat status uh, graphic as well so uh, when we got our offset, I'm gonna go in Pierce Pride Viewer and uh, select a ROM. It'd be editing this, and uh, I'm just gonna clear the buffer. Here. And you're gonna, we're gonna copy to buffer that uh, offset, that the starting offset to the, that ending offset. So it's like it's exactly the same thing as a ROM map. Press copy to buffer. Usually, uh, when you open for the first time, you, you you won't see this, but when you press copy to buffer, you will see it. So this is our uh, decompress uh, text, or graphic, more precisely. So uh, what we what we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna decompress it. So uh, when you decompress, make sure you got Final Fantasy VI selected. Uh, bit plane four sixteen colors. This the palette uh, parameters I rarely touch them I, if if not never so uh not have to bother for that. Uh this is uh the width and the height of uh the graphics you're gonna want to edit after. Even if you decompress less than a two hundred and fifty six pixels by two hundred and fifty six pixels uh, like uh, like um, 16 tiles, 16, 28, 32 tiles, 32 tiles by 32 tiles of 8 by 8. Even if you uh, decomp decompress less than that, you can fill a whole um, old bitmap that size. So that that you can leave it like that if you want, or smaller smaller, uh, depending if you really want uh, to fit it to your graphics. So uh, basically, uh, once you got all your uh, options selected properly, you're gonna go to compress. Uh, you enter your offset here, and uh, you enter a file name. Now we're editing the. I think we're editing the vanilla ROM, so we're just gonna name it vanilla. So basically, you just enter uh, a file name without the extend the extension. And uh, he's gonna select. Uh, he's gonna add the dot bin after. So you press decompress. Now it's decompressed. You can leave that windows uh, open. Now if we open our, uh, if we are open our graphic vanilla dot bin, it's all scrambled. But you select uh, four BPP SNS, and now you got. The correct graphics. So this is the shield we're gonna edit. Uh, prior to that, I had the save state where uh, I had the original palette of the shield. So I had the shield on screen with all the palettes on screen, which are these. So you just scroll until you find the good one, which is this one here. But actually, uh, what you can do is uh, have the shield on screens, get your save state, get your right uh, palette, then you right click on uh, one of the color, let's say this one here, and uh, this is your X value of the color. So this is uh, how we're gonna, um, it's with that, that uh, we're gonna find the right palette uh, in SNS pal after. So uh, you convert these uh, values to uh, from hexadecimal to binary uh, to decimal. 
So basically, uh, it's 112, 24, 48. Before entering that, you make sure you got this selected here. Auto convert 0248 to 031. So it converts properly. And uh, you, if, if you have limit of 8, 8 of 16 color, you won't find matches. You must select here. And then let's say I'm going, I'm going to offset zero. So you press find match again. And you're gonna have a bunch of matches. So uh, the easiest way is just to uh, check the color before if they match what you got here, because the, the color should be in the same order. So uh, you got a bunch of matches. Actually, it's the first one here. So we got these six color we need today, because uh, the shield is on a is on a um, eight uh, color palette. Well, it's a sixteen color palette, but we're gonna edit the uh, the last six six color of it only. So basically, uh, we do like uh, in my last tutorial um, when you got your uh, your shield in GIMP, you got your palette editor open, and when you 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 change your um, your color, you got the X value. You divide that value by eight, and it gets you uh, a number between zero and thirty-one, which you uh, you modify here. So it's rather it's, it's a bit a long process, but to speed to speed the process up, you can change your palette in the SNES pal. Uh, load the uh, you load your game and just get another save state with the shield uh, graphic, but with the modified palette. So the modified palette should look like this here. So basically, we just change the uh, six color these six here. So this is the new palette. So when, once you got, you're done with that, uh, you're gonna open your uh, your sh your shield. Uh, you're gonna open in my YCHR. You're gonna open this here and load the correct palette, which is this one. So you see, it doesn't really look like it, but it's already part of the job being done. So you just sprite your shield, which I won't do because it's it's a waste of time. Everybody can do that. You just match what is here, and then uh, I got a, I got a working example here. It's right here. So once you got your shield on properly, and make sure you don't go uh, out of bound of the f two by two tiles, so a sixteen by sixteen. Uh, uh, perimeter so make sure you, you stay in bound if you if you draw something here or plan to add another graphic it will probably give a uh, compression error when you recompress so uh, hold on all right so once you got uh, this done you save of course and then we're gonna recompress uh, Actually, you when you you got still that the uh, windows open, you can just press recompress and it's gonna re recompress the graphics. Uh, otherwise, you select your good uh, good file, which is this one. And then you press recompress. So it's back in the ROM. You close that. You press save ROM. Now to make sure it open properly. It's saved properly and compress it properly. You can reopen your ROM, which was this one, and then copy to buffer the same range. And it gives no error, so it means uh, it worked it properly. So, uh, yeah, uh, we pretty much covered everything I had to cover about that. Uh, it's not really much harder than editing directly in YYCHR uh, well, directly from the ROM. So we're just gonna make sure you have a safe state. Yeah, I have a safe file. We're just gonna check that the animation is good. We're just gonna wait. Uh, 
until someone blocks. Usually it's Celeste. Celeste is the good blocker. There are two. Oh! I think we messed up the pallet. Oh, I didn't change the pallet, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't change the pallet at all in this ROM. But uh, I got the other, f the other another one working here. But I, at least the graphic was good. And uh, yeah. So this is uh, the final result you should get once you change uh, the palette and uh, the shield, the shield graphics. Yeah, so basically, uh, this is the last uh, of my graphic tutorial for a while. Uh, I haven't really gone uh, deeper in that. There's a uh, James that will probably do uh, sprighting, sprighting uh, tutorials, but uh, I'm, I'm far from being a good sprite. someone will go, oh you see yeah we've seen the nice animation so yeah basically this is how you uh, you edit compressed graphics uh, there's a bunch of stuff compressed such such as uh, some ending graphics uh, the chocobo uh, in mode 7 I think uh, the, air diff the different airships that you see coming out of water and the one in mode set as w uh, mode 7 as well so uh, but Spriting another airship from scratch will be pretty difficult because it's a mix of tiles and it's not really it's really hard to sprite anyway I, I couldn't do it so yeah uh, so that's basically what I wanted to uh, cover so hopefully it will be useful for uh, some of you okay bye